let's get back to my quest. Back when I was studying the boa constrictor, I read everywhere that they were difficult to breed in captivity. This was my next challenge. Jimmy Stone. Yeah. And what does he do? He works with the snakes. What kind of snakes? Princess and the other big snakes and the baby snakes. This is something so cool. As you can see, this female's really aggressive and there's some special stuff in there. And I'm gonna have Josh get this female out and film it to see how to deal with an aggressive female like this. Not that big, but gave a great litter. You can see she's kind of swollen up a little bit and does not want to be bothered at all, defensive. Five years after keeping my boas, I was able to breed them at temperatures in the high 90s. I quickly learned that you could breed boas successfully many different ways. When I had my first litter of boas, I was staring at 23 babies. I quickly sold my whole litter of babies for some good cash. From that point on, I was hooked. It wasn't about the money, as I learned that boas can be humbling. I quickly found out people wanted my product. I love breeding all reptiles, but with the boa constrictor, you can make something that nobody has ever seen. I call this genetic art. When I realized you could make a lot of different looks with the color combinations of the boa constrictor, my hobby turned into a passion. This is my genetic art and my product is kept worldwide. Whether you have one or a hundred, you can pick out colors and patterns of a wide variety of looks among the boa constrictor imperator. Because of the internet, I got connected to boa lovers all over the world. You don't have to become an expert to make something that nobody else has, but will desire. In this segment, I will take you through four years of footage while I explain the boa constrictor breeding process. I will take you through a full one year season, so let's get to work. I love breeding the boa constrictor, and I always will.